हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू हिमालय शक्ति तंत्र आई एम नितिन करवाल तंत्र रिसर्चर एंड प्रैक्टिशनर आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम आई एम मेकिंग दिस वीडियो टू गिव सम लाइट ऑन आ कुंडलिनी टॉपिक लॉस ऑफ पीपल आस्किंग मी प्लीज मेक मोर वीडियोस ऑन कुंडलिनी एंड आई डोंट नो हाउ मच पीपल विल सी दिस बिकॉज नाउ डेज पीपल डोंट वॉन्ट टू सी द राइट कंटेंट दे आर लुकिंग फॉर फैसिनेटेड and just like uh, content made by the writers like that but in this video i am going to share why you can not activate your kundalini why you are not able to activate your kundalini and why we are so curious about kundalini so i'll try to give you some light some awareness on this topic in india in my country bharat nowadays the yoga yoga is famous not yog i will not go into it the different between yoga and yog yog is the combination of two yoga is only the physical exercises the 90% people doing that even nothing is wrong if they are doing yoga so first we have to understand the kundalini our serpent power and why we are not able to activate and why we can't activate according to the himalayan masters who live in the himalaya they mention some secrets with their disciples i was there i met with some yogi some meditators who follow particular practice and it's belongs to the lineage the sampradayas some following the kriya yoga महावतार बाबा जी सम फॉलोविंग हट योग गिवन बाय द गुरु गोरखनाथ जी इन द नाथ संप्रदाय एंड सम फॉलो द तंत्र प्रैक्टिस इन द हिमालय सो कुंडलिनी वी कैन एक्टिवेट through mantra chanting through breathing and through yoga and the combination of all three mantra breathing because in english there is no right word for the pranayama so i'm using breathing all pranayama and yoga and it doesn't mean if you living in a normal life and then you can activate your kundalini you can get some experiences in your life but you cannot activate your kundalini just like i am sitting right now in this posture my spine is straight and i practice for so long for this to get this stage and still i am learning still i am researching to reveal some secrets and share some secrets of yogis a few days back i was in himachal the other side of himalaya and i met some yogis they give me some more secrets we have a very healthy spiritual conversation about other dimension world one of my student or my friend was she was with me there if you want to activate your kundalini you have to very focused dedicated and that is not possible for you because you have lots of responsibilities unstable mind 
unwanted problems, unwanted desires in your life, then you cannot because you are not able to sit still. Even you trying to sit still, your mind is not still. Maybe you will go to some institute in Rishike, so called. They will give you 200 hours, 500 hours, that certification courses for $500, $1000. Because of com commercialization of spirituality in India nowadays, in all over the world, what they will teach you? They will give you one assignment. They have a printed for everybody, 100,000 they printed. If you join, because they have to give something. So they print assignment with some content and yoga postures. The second, if you are going for a Kundalini, they will give you a particular book on the Kundalini. These two things they will provide you. Third, they will try to change your lifestyle. They will give you particular clothes you need to wear, you need to wake up on time, you need to do some breathing exercises, a little bit yoga postures. And after 10 or 20 days of course, when you come out and you feel that now you are a master because you have that A grade certification. I spent my almost 16 years and dedicatedly 12 years and in 12 years I didn't get a single piece of paper from my masters in Himalaya. Even still now, if I go there, if they ask me, what are you doing nowadays? If I tell I'm doing meditation, so they very strict. They ask me, do you know meditation? And I have no answer. Even after 12 years of dedicated research and practice, I cannot say I am a meditator. I do meditation. But for you is very easy to get that certificate. I have some, I have done to show to the society those certificates that I have this piece of paper. <laughs> but that's fine. I have educational certificates, but not spiritual. Any certificate, I don't have it. I don't need it and I don't want it. So for the Kundalini, you need to follow particular disciplined life, Ayurvedic herbs needed, particular diet, vegetarian diet. If you are non-vegetarian and if you have any other habit of drugs, alcohol, anything it could be in the form of addiction, you cannot activate your Kundalini, never because you are not conscious. You are focusing on your senses pleasure. The pleasure of your tongue. This is senses. The pleasure of the eyes. Because if your energy, your mind focusing on the external pleasure, this bodily pleasure, you cannot activate your kundalini. You cannot. Even you cannot get powers in the tantra. In the demonic practice, in the black magic and some demonic practice you can get but in the liberation way that leads you to the liberation that will take you out from every pain suffering attachments fear greed lust in your life that can you cannot achieve because i leave it i practically done in my life and I lead things to see results the difference between right and wrong means duality the duality teaches right wrong good bad you can do this you cannot do this it depends only what you want there is no right there is no wrong it depends what you want according to me maybe the other person can be think different but it's my perception that there is nothing wrong and right it depends what you want how much you are aware because when you focus on the senses 
you are not able to go inside. I want to give you one example. Maybe you are not ready to accept that in your life. I am not a yogi. I am not a sadhu. I am not a swami. I am not a guru. I am not. I am a researcher. For the research, I have to do lots of things in my life. And I have done it. And I will do more in the future. For the Kundalini nowadays, there is a masculine-feminine connection is very famous. Because Neo Tantra also entered in this era. I want to share one example of my life. For Kundalini Tantra, the activation of the Kundalini, you have to dedicately control and diversion on your sexual desire. If it is out of control, if it is not under your control, if it is full of lust, then till the end of your last breath, you cannot activate. Some practice we do, but it is not for everybody. It depends. Some yogis live celibate life, childhood celibacy, the Bala Brahmachari, the Brahmachari. These are the categories. And I am not a Brahmachari, not even I am a Bala Brahmachari. I learned the practice of retention of semen. I mate in my life. Not with loss of women in my life. The mating means when you are practicing your retention power. People doing masturbations, multiple sex, mixing lots of energy, each other DNAs, through that and because of they are suffering. And when they come to me and they told me that I am suffering, my, in my family these things are not going right, my job, my business, my mental stability, physical diseases. I know the reason but I don't say. I give remedies to them because they want to, they choose changes. And this is the reason, these are the reasons that you cannot activate your Kundalini. In my past that I practice the sexual transmission of your energy. And when you practicing, it doesn't mean nowadays swamis, fake swamis, gurus and <laughs> you know well. I don't want to discuss on some topic but you know, I just want to give you a hint. They want to mate and do sex with every single woman that they like because of the lust. If you want to, yesterday also I was talking to one of my students and I was telling him the Bhaira Bhairavi Sadhana for the activation of your powers only with your partner with whom you want to spend your life with whom you feel yes this soul is mine this is my divine feminine or divine masculine you cannot Allow anyone in your life after that. Even you will not talk. You will not talk naughty with it. Just like if you are not mating but you doing sexual talk. Flirts. That stuff. It is not accepted. In the pure loving connection. And that's why your mind is disturbed. Your physical body is disturbed. Your energy is disturbed. I don't know you are able to resonate what I am trying to explain you. But if you follow the purity, then you will see the divinity. Otherwise you cannot see. So I was in a very, almost 8 years ago, 7 years ago, I was practicing the semen retention. Because after celibate practice. So I enter in the retention practice. And for that, I choose some different experiments in my life. So, with the opposite attraction of women in the body, when you get that attraction and sexual stimulation inside you, your energy want to come out to experience that friction of second pleasure. That is called orgasmic energy. Women can experience multiple times. 
men can not experience multiple times because of physical uh, compatibility the physical structure is different physical anatomy is different physical reflexology is different and the sexual desire uh, frequency is different between feminine and masculine feminine has 8x more sexual energy than the men the men need to be very retentive so i was practicing that with the divine feminine to teaching her the purpose was retention to not just releasing but woman is not ready every woman is not ready so i stop and give the gap then i just reversing my power up and these are the reason you cannot activate kundalini is not just like you see in this videos the propaganda videos social media videos who just want to followers and they are making some special mystic content for kundalini they don't know single 1% about the real kundalini practice and even i don't share those secrets i share with my peoples only who are with me maybe they are not ready to accept that because money is everything money is needed i want money for everybody for the spiritual growth for the dharma we can spread the dharma we can build the shakti temple that is my desire now because of my student wants and i am working on it and i need everyone's help and support if they want to do from their heart only otherwise i don't care about anyone so for the kundalini if you want you need a sexual retention kundalini sexual retention if you don't have it even you practice 100 years you cannot do even you reach after age of 50 don't focus on kundalini if someone telling you you can do kundalini you cannot according to the himalaya masters you cannot and there is some other reason in other video i will explain that in which age you can activate the powers especially if you are doing the kundalini tantra not the mantra meditation the kundalini tantra after age of 50 it is not recommended so if you want to activate kundalini with the right method if your mind is stable if you can do years of practice years i am talking about not hours of practice in one month in two month in six month in year you can not activate your kundalini you cannot if you activate it by chance with someone grace you will suffer till the end of your last breath it's very dangerous and if you want you can come to me i am not commercialized i am not a commercialized man that's why i live very simple that's why i don't have much people in my spiritual family because they are looking for the certification courses their things whatever they like for their life is their life i don't need to worry but if you want to mate with the feminine or the masculine you need one for your life not multiple don't carry each other dna's curses problems you don't know how sacred your sexual relation is how much energy you can transmit in the form of negative only for friction of pleasure stop doing it wait for the right feminine wait for the right masculine and surrender no lies no cheatings no distrust if you are in a pure love with somebody don't cheat don't lie don't distrust it also affects your energy centers it affects your purity it converts you in negative or in positive it depends on your thoughts on your desires on your feelings on your emotions and i hope you will understand in this black era where is everything is business money commercialization i hope you will respect those true people who really came here to save humanity but i know what society do with the good people what they done with the jesus what they done with the buddha what they done with the yogananda 
Vivekananda and other yogis who are staying still in the Himalayas and what they do with me, I know that and what they have done. My son student knows. I surrender myself to change people's life and what they give me after that. So I am not a Buddha. I am not Jesus. I don't allow to give me poison. I don't allow to take me to the cross. I don't allow like a Kabir to tear the skin. I don't allow. I change myself because of some events and changes, but not my nature. And I'm not ready to take poison in my life anymore from anybody. Om Kali.